Hello everybody, I wanted to make a day one to day six update on the crushed coral. There are changes in this video, so don't miss out. I'm going to be using the API pH test kit, and then I'm going to be using these test strips for my results. Day one, the pH was about a 6.6. .6. It's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting. And as you can see, the GH, KH, and pH are all in a red zone, so I'm trying to bring it up. For day two, you can see it's still about a 6.6, 6.8, somewhere in between there. And I really didn't see any changes on the test strip. It was about the same as the day before. It was all in the red zone. So for day three, the pH was about a 6.8, 7.0. And then on the test strips, the pH started to turn a little orange, so it might have been like a 6.8 on there, but it was still in the red zone. Day 4 was when I saw a lot of changes. The pH from the API test kit was about a 7.2, and the test strips changed dramatically. It was about an orange for a 7.2 pH. The GH and KH went up, so you can see that. For day 5, the pH was about 7.2, 7.6, somewhere in between there, and it also started to get darker on the test strip, so you can see it's more orange, green, and there's some purple. Day 6 is darker, 7.2, 7.6. It's about the same as the day before, and the test strips, you can see, are definitely went from a yellow to a dark orange, green, and blue with some purple. And that is the end of this video. If you are thinking about putting crushed coral into your aquarium to buffer the water, I would say it takes about four days for you to have noticeable changes. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please check out my Instagram and subscribe. Subscribe!